Miss Bethune Cookman University. So that's what I would do normally when I go and like um, introduce myself to a, a bunch of grown ups who want to um, basically give money to the university. But y'all didn't really want to hear that, right? Y'all really want to know uh, who I am. Um, and a large part of who I am actually is because I got the chance to go to Holly Hill Middle School. So um, I'm originally from Connecticut. Um, I'm actually adopted. So um, by raising hand, you guys all know um, what that means, right, everybody? So yeah, so I was adopted when I was six years old. Um, I was put in foster care when I was eight months old. Um, my birth mother was actually 13 when she had me, so it's very young, um, and she couldn't really take care of me. And for a long time, that um, affected who I was and how I viewed myself, um, not necessarily how I viewed my family, because people who adopted me is the only home I've ever actually lived in. Um, I was put in foster care when I was six months old, and the people who adopted me at six years old or eight years old was the family that um, originally got me. So I was very lucky. I wasn't in the system for um, very long um, at all. I went to one home, and they have loved me ever since. Um, we lived in Connecticut until I was eight, and when I um, got to third grade, my um, adoptive mother and my little brother and little sister and I moved to Florida. Now you guys know where Third Street is? Mm -hmm. Everybody? I live right off of Third Street, um, Eddie Avenue. Uh, I went to Bonner Elementary. Raise your hand, anybody know Bonner? Yeah. It's torn, well, not torn down, but it's not up and running right now. Um, I was the last graduating class from Bonner. Um, and I went to um, Holly Hill Middle School the entire time. Um, so I went from 5th to 8th grade, right? No, 6th to 8th grade at Holly Hill. And then I went back to Connecticut for high school. And now I am at the Philadelphia University. So originally, BC was not the school I was um, actually going to go to. Um, I got into uh, my top three schools, um, Quinnipiac University, Ohio State, and Temple University. Um, my mother, who actually stayed here in um, Florida, got sick. Um, she got breast cancer when I was a uh, junior in um, high school. And that was, you know, really hard to deal with. Um, at the time, I was living with my older brother, who is pretty much the only father figure I've had in my life. Um, my adoptive mother was a single mother. Um, she raised not only me, but my little brother, my little sister, and my older brother. Um, I went to go live with him, so when the news came, I was still in Connecticut and she was in Florida. So I, then I had to make the decision, okay, what am I gonna do um, when I leave um, high school? <coughs> I can either you know, stay in Connecticut or go to the schools that I've gotten into, which are none of them were in Florida, or I can you know, come back home, take some time off. Um, I was very uh, good in school. I had done some dual enrollment classes. Uh, so I was able to, I still had, you know, credits that would allow me to, college credits already. So I was like, oh, I'm not really wasting any time if I take the time off. So I took the time off. I came back to Florida to take care of my mother. Um, my brother had actually came. 20 things we should say more often. 
Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs, more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it. But don't say it if it's something I can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often. I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before I say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, everything is going to be okay. Number 11, oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> Number 9. You're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Oh, wait, wait. That could hurt someone's feelings. I mean, boat. I named my boat after you. Wait, who even has a boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. And, and just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number 8. Hello, person I've never met before. Here's a high five. <laughs> Number 7. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being, and I'll treat you like that. Because if I didn't, it would make everything bad, and that's what lots of people do in this lane. I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three. Sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two. Life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one. Something nice. Anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. So what about you? What do you think people should say more often? Leave a comment below and let's hear it. Oh, and I got a bonus one for you. Something that we should say more often? Let's dance. So that game.